Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Virgo. How's everyone this week? I hope you're well. See what's going on. I won't be putting out three overall energy cards. I'll just be going right into your reading. I did put singles readings up, not this Monday, the one before. They could still be valid if you're interested. There may be a message there and I will have new ones up this coming Monday. Virgo. Overall energy surrounding you and your love life. Clarity for Virgo regarding your love life, finance, and career. Virgo. Virgo. There we go. We have the King of Cups and the Prince of Swords. Virgo. What is happening? You may have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio heading in your direction. Someone here has some feelings, but they're cautious. They're a little indecisive, possibly becoming more decisive about making a choice, some kind of a decision. Yeah, you've got an energy of someone who rushes in and out, okay? They're trying to make a decision. They maybe want to communicate and possibly keep changing their mind with this Seven of Cups. There's a little confusion. Maybe they want to clear something up or they're just being cautious. They're looking at the possibilities, okay? Everything that could happen if they communicate, <laughs> kind of change their mind. Yeah, I feel, and it's quite possible too, this is somebody who has other options. They may be kind of rushing in and out with you. Um, but, I, you know, usually the King of Cups is somebody who's just cautious. They uh, definitely are someone who likes to have uh, their emotional needs met. So I do feel they see the possibilities. But, yeah, they possibly feel there could be some kind of conflict yeah, or maybe even competition. I feel they just keep changing their mind. They're being overcautious, a little indecisive. Yeah, there's definitely, they could be a Scorpio energy or there's a Scorpio in the mix here. But I feel something is coming to an end here. Like maybe this person is thinking of putting an end to some conflict, some drama. They may be thinking of taking action. They're trying to make a decision here. There's something transforming here, Virgo. Yeah, so there could be a reconciliation or maybe some kind of little wake-up call. They could, uh, yeah, this person, they're, they want to put an end to something, I feel. I do, and I feel this person is definitely, I see some Libra energy here as well. It could be a reconciliation, but it's also someone making a very big decision. Could be a little confusion. Maybe they want to clear some confusion up over some argument. Virgo. Clarity for Virgo regarding your love life, finance, and career. Looks like the love life is front and center. Yeah, there's some indecision. This person's at a crossroads. They can't really see a way forward. Uh, this could be yourself indecisive about which way to go with this situation. If this person does communicate, they could call you. Uh, sometimes this is a phone call, okay, a wake-up call. They could wake you up. <laughs> they want to end something and uh, have this possible reconciliation. This is a very big decision. Yeah, someone's trying to figure something out. They're in their head. I feel there's some indecision. This could be yourself as well. Maybe you feel this person's a bit of a player. There's competition. They have other options. They rush in and out. There's just a lack of clarity. So but that, that indecision here, this is someone who's trying to make a decision and they're having a hard time getting out of their head, trying to figure out how to fix this situation. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is a person here. Yeah, we've got this Aries Leo Sag energy. Uh, generally, this is a Sag energy. Yeah, someone here's lost control of a situation. They rushed in very quickly, maybe moved too fast. They're trying to figure something out, trying to fix a situation to do with this. So, yeah, they may have rushed in for that passion and then lost control of a situation. I feel they were trying to control their emotions, trying to stay in control. So, wow, Virgo, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, they're definitely trying to figure something out or fix a situation. I feel at times they feel very enthusiastic. They're ready to just charge, use the power they have to just kind of come right back in and gain control. Uh, but I think this person knows if they rush in quickly, <laughs> they will. Yeah, you'll take off in another direction. I see some cancer energy here as well. This person's very much up in their head. This two of swords, this decision. They just can't seem to see a way forward. Tell me about the king of cups energy. Why is this here? 
King of Cups, why is this here? What's this person's intentions? Here we go, yeah. To put an end to a situation, to transform something. You may have ended this with this person already. Um, it's quite possible. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to put an end to something. I feel they're being overly cautious to do with this Prince of Swords, rushing in. This is someone who may have been indecisive about their feelings, emotions. But there's something that needs to transform, and I feel like that's what they want to put an end here to this. You may have already ended it with this person because of this energy. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Why is this here? Prince of Swords energy. There we go. Yeah. So this person, yeah, feels like there's no hope. They rush in and rush out. Yeah, there you go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person's trying to gain some clarity here. They're trying to figure something out. Maybe they feel like they're not good enough or they feel... Maybe you ghosted them. Maybe they feel lonely. Maybe they want to communicate. They're gaining some kind of clarity and insight here. They're trying to be very logical. I feel what you have is someone who was thinking with their head over their heart. Okay. Uh, this is someone who strategizes a little bit. But I feel that there is something here they want to communicate. See where this leads you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is this here? Clarity with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so there you are, Virgo. Yeah, you kind of maybe turned your back. You're focusing on yourself. I think this person does see the possibilities with you. Yeah. I feel like they uh, see you as this queen of pentacles. Somebody's focused on their money, their finances. Maybe they're hoping that you'll come in and make them an offer. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel as though you're turning your back. You're focusing on your money. But I feel there's this energy of uh, looking into the future. And there is no future with someone who won't give you something solid, something guaranteed. Because they rush in and out. They lack that clarity. Uh, this is someone who's a little indecisive. I feel they're becoming more decisive as they gain some kind of truth and clarity about something here. They're either lonely, they feel like they're not good enough, or they have some kind of insecurities. Maybe they ended things because of it, but I see this transformation. Uh, they're starting to become a little more decisive, uh, definitely, with this King of Swords. This is someone who's kind of figured things out here. So I feel like what you have here is a backstory. Yeah, so there we go. We have this. <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to come in. I feel like you don't see a future with this person. And uh, like, you know, this is your wake up call as well, your decision, whether you want, but you want this cup, you want the big cup, you want this emotional offer, something solid, or there is no future. You'll just focus on your money. Some of you could be starting something new, a new job. You may have some offers. Uh, could be a fresh new start for you. You could be looking into the future, um, you know, sort of planning, preparing, uh, keeping, getting yourself ready. So we have that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah? There's something that needs to be illuminated. Could be a reconciliation, but there needs to be that truth and that clarity. Everything needs to come to the surface. Yeah, maybe this you're thinking of having a new beginning with another person or they're thinking that. Think it maybe it's too late, it's kind of hopeless, that maybe you've moved on, you've had other offers. So they're making a decision based on this. They're looking at all these possibilities, okay? Uh, maybe too late is what I feel because some, it may actually just be over. Someone feels hopeless or they feel left out in the cold, feeling lonely. And I feel that's the way they're thinking, okay? They're looking at all the things that could have happened or the, you know, the where things could be right now. So, yeah, we have someone here who offers one cup, nothing more. It's a little bit of, you know, that be careful what you wish for. This, I think what you have is someone here, there's some kind of conflict to do with this. Possible competition. Maybe they feel, oh, you know, it's... <laughs> probably not possible that you're still single, that you'll see a future with them, that you more than likely have other offers because they see you as somebody who's, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who focuses on money, finances, someone who's always prepared, they work, they make money, take care of the house and the home. So I feel they see you clearly and I feel they're trying to make a decision about expressing themselves and starting something new with you, a fresh new start, okay? But I feel here with that, you know, they are cautious, being careful what they wish for. Uh, they may feel that there will be some competition, conflict, okay? They want to end this. They're trying to figure out how to put an end to this situation. But they kind of feel like it may be over. It may be too late. A little bit of a wake-up call for them. Yeah, 
there's a need to heal a situation. It's all about this decision to transform this, to put an end to this conflict. Tell me about the death card. They could be someone who offered one cup, kept their feelings to themselves. All right, they may have something they were hiding, keeping to themselves. There may have been competition, possibly, or maybe you're feeling that way about this person. It could go either way. But yeah, there's this holding back. Yeah, someone's holding back, looking at the details holding back this transformation, feeling very stuck, maybe a little bit stubborn. I feel that, you know, this is the thing. This is the energy. You take this pentacle off, and then you've got the three of pentacles, cooperation, compromise, teamwork, compatibility, uh, moving forward onto a new path. This person's stuck. They're unable to kind of move and make a decision here to do with this. This is a big decision, this rebirth. This is a lot of possibilities how things could go. They may be a little worried about conflict and argument, uh, or just worried that there's competition, you know, wishful thinking kind of energy. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here, the power couple. Yeah, someone's holding back, holding on to their money. This could be you, could be them. It's in the center. Someone's protecting their money, their finances. This is someone who... Um, King of Pentacles is someone practical, grounded. This is someone who likes to plan for the future, especially when it comes to finances. They may be planning something. They're looking at all the details of this Four of Pentacles. They're kind of holding back here, sort of waiting, trying to make some kind of a decision. But maybe they're waiting for you to make a decision. So flip the energy as you wish. But I see the King and Queen of Pentacles. I see a power couple here, two people that... Yeah, someone's holding back. They, you know, something ended. Maybe you, you're you holding back from this person. Maybe they're holding back from you. There's something very stubborn, very stuck. Could be a Taurus energy. I hate to say that, but yeah, it's hard to say. Could really be anyone. King of Pentacles is someone financially stable, someone who's planning a future, holding on to their money, protecting themselves. But I feel this something has ended here. This person wants to put an end to this. Yeah, they want to put an end to this. They want to have that emotional fulfillment. This is putting, planning something, laying all the cups out on the table. Um, you know, having, making this decision about emotional fulfillment, being happy. Planning something, you know, in the future, seeing things differently. This person's preparing themselves, whoever they are. Yeah, to open up emotionally. Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, going off on a new path. It's a very big decision. This is a very slow-moving energy. Like I said, this could be you. You know, you can, like I say, you can flip this energy. Two of oops, swords. There we go. I didn't even get a chance to say anything. I'll take these two. Yeah, so there is some kind of an epiphany, some kind of a decision. Um, someone's unable to make a decision, but they're having an epiphany, trusting their intuition. I see some Scorpio Aries energy here. Some, someone just can't get out of their head. They're unable to make a choice, to choose a path. Okay, we got a path here. There's several ways to approach this situation. Someone's really trying to figure something out here. This is a crossroads. Keeping something to themselves, trusting the intuition, some kind of secret, okay? Or it's just somebody who's kind of going within, looking for answers within themselves. This is someone who already knows. They already know everything they need to know, okay? So there's some kind of an epiphany. Yeah, we have the star. It's about purging and releasing, healing, allowing things to go. Someone was keeping something to themselves they should have let go of, and that's what I feel. Something... Someone's holding on to something they need to release, to put an end to, to allow things to transform. Uh, some Aquarius energy, some Pisces energy. Yeah, so there is this energy. Look at that. Strength. This is someone up in their head, right? Trying to figure something out, using all the strength they have uh, to figure something out. They're trying to tame the beast within themselves to rush in. This is someone who needs to tame that beast, that need to rush in and rush out to gain control because this is someone who's lost control. Things. This is someone out of control. Okay. Yeah, because they, you know, they rush in, they rush out. They're indecisive. They're unable to make a decision. So there is definitely this energy of... I mean, this person may see you as a star. They may, you know want to heal a situation, let go of the past. It could be to do with the secret. Uh, there's some kind of an epiphany tower moment about to happen. I feel this person's about to make a decision. 
Uh, but something ended because of this energy. Somebody wasn't taming the beast within themselves. They were rushing in and out. Uh, maybe it's because they didn't feel confident. Maybe they're trying to figure something out here. How to tame that beast, to be strong, to be confident. I can say one thing. They, they possibly see you as very strong, very confident, very capable, maybe even very brave. Because they are figuring some things out. Maybe they value you, see your worth hold you in very high regard they may have kept that to themselves maybe that's what happened why things ended there was a lack of clear communication as i can see up here but this person's becoming clear some of you might have a choice between two people uh, gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn cancer pisces scorpio and yeah, i can see that a little bit of leo energy here as well and some sag yeah, Prince of Wands energy. You know, this is someone enthusiastic, charming, somebody who kind of goes after what they want, but they do have a tendency to rush in very quickly before they gain that clarity, and maybe that's what happened. So someone's trying to tame that beast, that need to rush in. Maybe before you get away and take off in another direction, maybe that's what they're worried about, right? That you've had other offers, you've started something new, it may be too late. No, but they hold back, they're protecting. I feel like you got someone who's protecting themselves, their money, their finances. No, this is a big decision. This is about teamwork, cooperation, compromise, going off on a new path, ha having that emotional fulfillment, two people coming together to build something beautiful. They're thinking of all these things, right? The future, uh, being happy, making the decision. This is someone who wants to make sure they're happy. They're preparing for the future beautiful energy i see the power couple i see some kind of compatibility maybe you're comparing one person to another you may have had other offers you may be thinking making a decision yourself you may have some options you know you have an opportunity to start something new i see that leo energy here but I do feel for yourself, you're going to take some time to figure things out. You're going to use that strength, that confidence and courage that you have not to rush into anything yourself, I feel. And I feel there's something in common that you're thinking, okay? Yeah, there's some common ground here. Like you could be comparing two people, right? Trying to figure out who's the most compatible, who will make you happy. Tell me about the prince, yeah. So there's this energy of uh, reciprocation. Somebody's rushing in and out, then they kind of don't reciprocate. They don't talk, so they lost control. So I feel there's this reciprocating communication and clarity. Yeah. So someone who wants to reach out, maybe you're not even talking to this person. Maybe you're holding back with all your strength. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to reach out, or maybe they're trying to. Uh, or trying to figure out if you'll reciprocate if they do. But I feel they're not rushing into anything at this point. They want to. I can see that energy. But they need to release this. This is someone going within soul searching. They already have all the answers they need. I do think this person already knows. They need to tame that beast. That passion. <laughs> Interesting. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, this person, you know, is afraid you won't reciprocate if they talk to you, communicate, uh, that you'll take off in another direction. They know that this, you know, there's a situation. This is someone controlling their emotions, being too controlling, using all the power they have to keep their emotions out of it. That's what I feel. Uh, but they lost control because this is a focus on that passion, rushing in, and then, you know, that lack of reciprocity. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo. There we go. We have two. Yeah. So there is a need for some kind of truth, some kind of success. You see that? Yeah. I feel this person wants to have success. They want to speak some kind of truth. There's some aha moments about losing control, rushing into things, using all the power you have to control the situation, but losing control. So there's the cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So I feel this person wants to come back around, uh, but I feel they know they need to not rush in, rush out. There needs to be that reciprocity but I do think they're afraid they're having this epiphany it may be too late you may have taken off in another direction interesting energy so we have that wheel of fortune yeah this is about two people you know this is about two people there's a fight for control and power here because <laughs> we do have this power couple we have two people who kind of know what they want uh, this is all about the future it's about finances stability um, you know, making plans. But I, I just feel as though unless you get the truth and you know what someone's intentions are, you're not moving forward. You want that truth and clarity and that's where your decision is going to be based. Now, I think this person's figuring things out. So, yeah, I feel like we have this wheel of fortune, a cycle ending. 
the truth coming in, having an aha moment um, that you may have moved on to another person. You may not uh, reciprocate, but I actually feel like things could go in both of your favor. Like you both want things to go in your favor. You both want things your way. Um, but I feel there is this soulmate connection. This is two people coming together, um, sharing their feelings, emotions, seeing eye to eye. It's about cooperation and compromise, uh, getting on the same page, uh, reciprocity. There's a need for two people to share their feelings. You know, this person, I can say, that it, if there's this rushing in and out energy, I, I can't see you reciprocating. You may actually end this. You may have an epiphany. It's time to just take off and put an end to this and move forward towards something new. You may have other options, possibilities that you're looking at. Or they're just thinking this because I see this thinking, right? The King of Swords is someone who thinks very deep. They take a long time to strategize. But this is, you know, there's a sense of loss here. Somebody has maybe feels that they lost out, that there's no hope. Maybe they ghosted you and they're starting to see things clearly here, that they were indecisive. Uh, this is someone who didn't want to tell you what their intentions were. So I feel like you've just kind of turned your back. You're moving forward possibly to start something new. I don't think you've made a decision yet. You may have options. You may be looking at them. You may have offers, maybe several but there's a need for truth and clarity. There's a need for uh, intention, someone's intentions. What is this person's intentions with the King of Swords? What are their intentions for Virgo? Yeah, some of you might be making a choice between two people, you know. It's quite possible. I do see uh, several energies, but I really feel like it's just this person. I feel like it's how they're uh, processing this transformative energy about being stable. Uh, maybe, you know, there's a decision. This person wants to come forward and open up to go off on this path with you. Maybe they see you as a keeper. Maybe they've gone through that transformation as they gain that clarity. Uh, but it's possible you may have transformed as well since this ended. You may be making decisions to do with your own happiness, going off on a new path. You want someone compatible. You want someone who's a good fit. So, wow, very interesting energy. Tell me about this King of Swords. What is their intentions? What is the King of Swords intentions for Virgo? King of Swords intentions. There we go. Ooh, they have a lot of intentions. I'll read these ones first. Yeah, I feel as this is someone here who's definitely wanting to take action. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. We have someone here who's very powerful. This could be you taking a stand, okay? There may have been a third-party situation. Somebody may have, maybe you feel like you need to stand up to yourself. You need to be very brave. There's that brave. There's that strength. Yeah, I feel like somebody, I feel like this person wants to take action. I feel like they, you know, have this queen of rods. It doesn't matter, um male or female it's a, the queen of rods is someone who knows what they want and they don't settle uh, maybe there's a little bit of fear here uh, maybe you know sometimes this is love though this is someone who makes a solid decision and know what knows what they want but there may have been some kind of conflict or uh, to do with competition it's about taking action so i feel this is someone who stands up for themselves this is you know but they may be just seeing you that way <laughs> Very action-oriented, very focused on career and finances, uh, very creative, but there is some kind of fear here. Fear that maybe that you've moved on, uh, there's competition, because they see you as, you know, sexy, attractive, hardworking, focused. There's that compatibility, right, with that it, that ties together with this King and Queen of Pentacles energy. But they're, they, they have this fear that it's too late. It'll be like, talk to the hand, sorry, I'm not interested. It's possible. I can see with the Seven of Cups, they're looking at all the possibilities. But there's a need for clarity, a need for truth. Everything needs to be illuminated. And uh, so I feel there's a big decision. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and we'll wrap this up. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so someone's at a crossroads, or pardon me, Nine of Cups, crossroads. Making a decision how to approach a situation. They're kind of holding back being very meticulous, looking at the decision here, whether to hold back, to put an end to this, 
Uh, someone's being stubborn. They're holding back. They're refusing to budge, right? But there's that crossroads. It's either <laughs> offering one cup and nothing more. So I, yeah, someone's making a decision here. It's a crossroads and whether to be single or not. This could be you. Maybe they want to approach you and find out if you're still single. They're being careful what they wish for because of the way they see the situation, the way they see you. So interesting enough, yeah, they know they need to come in. Yeah, there's some Aries energy here or Scorpio or just somebody who's... Someone's making a decision, okay, to hold back. Uh, someone here has very strong boundaries, but I also feel we have a person who um, is figuring out what they want. If they want to stay single, this is someone who wants what they want, uh, they're not settling. This is someone who goes after what they want and they don't give up. So I feel like that's what this person's energy is, okay? It could be yourself as well, you know, making a choice. If this person comes in, maybe, you know, you're being cautious, careful what you wish for, kind of holding back a little bit keeping things to yourself, keeping your feelings to yourself. Someone here doesn't want to share anything is what I feel. They don't want to share. They just want to rush in and out. But there's a need for some kind of truth and clarity. Uh, to have success here, you know, two people have to, it has to be this cooperation. It has to be two people where things go in both people's favors. There needs to be this equality, uh, being on that same page. So interesting energy. Someone's definitely going through a transformation. Interesting. So you could be ending things. It could be you ending things, holding back, refusing to budge and going off, making the decision to start something new, going off on a new path, having this epiphany, right? Uh, that it's time to just be strong and end this and not reciprocate to this person who just wants to rush in and out for that passionate energy. So I, I see two people taming the beast within themselves, using all that strength and power they have. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, we got it's in the middle here. It has to do with this ending, holding back, being stuck, looking at the details. Someone here doesn't feel safe or they're protecting themselves as well. All right, let's see what the outcome is. It does look positive. I mean, it's possible here that the two of you could hook up, meet somewhere, talk, share your feelings. Uh, but there will be no reciprocity if someone's because of someone's intentions. I feel there that's the, what this is all about. So all right virgo there we go yeah so it's time to go yeah time to either take a leap of faith to go off on a new path or time to leave something behind uh, there is a door here possibly an opportunity so that's interesting someone's about to make a decision here yeah there's gonna be, someone's hoping for some good luck here with the four leaf clover and uh, yeah there's some serendipity there is some good luck here you could get what you want okay you may decide to start something new and go off on a new path towards emotional fulfillment feeling reborn uh, feeling ready to open up emotionally you could be the one in the middle making this decision to just hold back but it's also a decision where someone sees somebody as a keeper it's a situation worth holding on to so that's where i feel this is that energy someone taking charge taking the lead here uh, trying to make a decision about uh you know the emperor it could be you it could be the other person somebody who kind of wants what they want they want to stay single uh, but there's that be careful what you wish for <laughs> yeah you could be making a decision there too and you may have some boundaries with this person okay so yeah i see a lot of scenarios but there's that message there's a need for some kind of emotional communication a message in the bottle energy i love that card so i feel like this person's about to make a decision to reach out and open up emotionally uh, to ex maybe express themselves to have a reconciliation or just heal a situation and then go off on another path it could be that simple but i feel as though you're definitely I feel they, th they think you have competition, there's people competing for you, or that you are very powerful, very strong, you stand up for yourself. <laughs> they have a little fear of conflict, I feel. Maybe things ended because of it. Don't know. Everyone's story is going to be a little different. One more for Virgo. Yeah, so there is somebody here, they could be observing you or their feelings, their emotions. There's things that need to be exposed because we see this partial moon. There may be something hidden. Someone could be watching you or observing your feelings, their feelings. Uh, so I feel like that's, if you get this message, you know, stop and take a moment to look at your feelings. Uh, is everything clear? Is everything out in the open? Uh, this person could be actually going within themselves, uh, trying to release something. Could be a secret, okay, to come in and speak the truth. Uh, there's definitely that uh, aha moment. 
Yeah. So this is about doing things by the book. It's about tradition, belief, the behavior, the way someone uh, conducts themselves. Someone could be reminiscing, traveling back into the past, thinking of something. Like, I feel there is someone here, some kind of comparison. Maybe you're comparing one person to another or vice versa. Uh, but this is reminiscing the past. Um, this is about leaving the past in the past and going towards something new. It has to do, it's like the Hierophant, it's by the book, it's tradition, belief, behavior, someone's the way someone conducts themselves. Someone is going through some kind of a transformation by traveling into the past, their past memories. So that's what I feel. It's leaving the past in the past to move forward, to cooperate and compromise, to come together and get on that same page. That's likely what is lacking here in this situation. So I wish you guys the best. It looks like it could be positive. Uh, I do believe things could take off fairly quickly here. Uh, but it all has to do with this truth, okay? Uh, I feel without that truth, without that, there will be no success. Somebody will end things and take off in another direction towards another person. Uh, there will be no reciprocity here, I'm feeling, okay? Uh, if somebody rushes in and out. But I feel it's more like thinking that someone won't reciprocate. They don't feel the same way, all right? So take care, wish you the best, and bye for now.